What makes the CRC tournament special? It doesn't matter your record or where you're ranked. When you enter York City Auditorium, all bets are off. Where the underdog always has that chance. Where the third grader sits in the balcony and dreams about lifting the trophy just like their hero down on the floor. Where a quarterfinal game can sound just like Championship Friday. And where Friday's championship games with fans of 13 conference teams converge to create a standing room only environment. Where sitting in the cold locker room, the anticipation builds. And you can feel the weight of expectations in the gym below you. Where every year state champions point to this tournament as the one to kickstart their title run. It's CRC Championship Friday on Strive Sports. Fifty-one. Forty-nine and 
Benedict Holder, <laughs> seven. In fact, prior to 1970, the County Athletic Association Shall we? Now we've got uh, better audio for you. My apologies. Baseline drive. We'll stop there for Haney. Tough drive and a foul called. Amanda Arts. Arts will go back to the foul line or go to the foul line first time. They will get Amanda Giano for her second personal foul and the second team foul. Actually, third team foul. So Arts for the first of two, leading scorer this year for the Tigers. Amanda averages 12.4 per contest. A Avery Hansen into the ball game for Cross County. And the second free throw 
up and good for Arts. So again, the full court or trap maybe good def or good offense to uh, dribble through there by Noble. Now the Cougars into the half court set. Noble on the left wing, back into the corner for Anderson onto the block. That's good ball movement down low for Stratman. Couldn't finish. And the defensive rebound for Arts. That was a good look by Stratman, averaging 13 and a half points a game, but couldn't quite get the finish. Arts also can't get the finish at the other end. And here come the Cougars back the other way. Two and a half minutes gone here in the first period. Stratman into a double team, kicks it out. Pull up from the elbow, and that's a foul. That was well done there, the good pull up jump shot taken by Savannah Anderson will result in a couple of free throws. Amanda Arts with her first and the team's second. Savannah averages four and a half points per game, but not yet on the board are the Cross County Cougars. In for East Butler comes Roxanne Bergman. Roxanne averages 1.9 points per contest. And still not back on the scoreboard. A drive and a dish and a long two that is off no good, but an offensive rebound. Addie Sullivan tracks it down. Long three for Arts, no. Defensive board for Anderson. Cross County looking for their opening points of this ball game, trailing, because I forgot to mark them last time, 6 nothing. There's a three. That goes up and down that time. Was Savannah Anderson that knocked that one down. So 6-3 our score. And that one's taken away. Josie Noble with the steal. Got away with an extra step, but an offensive rebound and a foul. As Schaefer ends up with the rebound. And they call the foul on Amanda Arts. So two shots for Cortland Schaefer. Ali Rigatuso into the ball game. And also Lene Arts in as well for the Tigers. But finally, on the board again, couple of free throws there by Schaefer. And we are at 6-5. On the wing, that was off the leg of Cross County's Avery Hansen, so it will stay with East Butler on the inbounds here. Slow going, we shot a few free throws each way. Both teams have actually shot four free throws so far. That's going to be a double dribble and a turnover for the Tigers of East Butler. Does let them set up the press, though. Over the top of it, Josie Noble gets all the way to the rim. Offensive foul, they're gonna wave off the shot. And what happened there, Avery Hansen was on the block and went to kind of seal, and Avery got called for the offensive foul, moving the defender out of the way. So wave off the layup, and our score still 6-5. That three misses everything there, put up by uh, 20. That was uh, Rigatuso. So our score remains at 6-5 with 3.50 to go here in the opening period. Third place girls game in the Crossroads Conference basketball tournament. Thanks for joining us on strivesports.com. I'm Strive Sports Director Eric Allgood with you today. My brother Aaron on camera. Good defense to knock it into the backcourt, but tracked down by Noble. Cross County will try to get things going again offensively after it was knocked into the backcourt by Alexi Haney.
Noble over the top, now baseline for Anderson. Onto the block, that's a good thing. Oh, over the top again, no, but another crack at it. Third time's a charm, finally put in by Caitlin Schaefer. So seven to six, first lead of the day for Cross County after they trailed 5-0 before getting on the board. Savannah Anderson just picked up her first personal foul. That is five team fouls. Tough drive and a foul is called. They're going to get Amanda Arts. No. No, they're not. They're going to get it. Going to get J.C. Mentic for the foul. And the first free throw by Bergman ties us up at seven. All free throws. The only points scored so far here. Two twenty-seven to go, third first quarter, third place girls game. Man-to-man -man defense, Cross County extending things out, and there's a tip and a steal, and then knocked out of bounds. No foul call, just out of bounds, but the steal will count. Therefore, J.C. Mentic, Josie Noble back in. Savannah Anderson checks out for Cross County. Onto the block, that's Stratman, got position, that one finally went down for Stratman. 9-8, the lead for Cross County. Under two minutes to go, first quarter, into the lane on the little back cut, goes Haney off the glass, no good, Stratman the rebound. Now a chance at a run out here for Cross County. Lob it down low, Hanson has it knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with Cross County. Minute 46, I have a bar just on our camera angle. I have a bar right just down the side of that. So we'll uh, call that out. Looks a little bit different sometimes on the uh, screen. High post for Stratman there at the elbow. She kicks it back outside to the right. Good re recovery defense, and there's a steal. Shot out of the cannon goes Rigatuso. Alley coast to coast. Contact, no foul, but the putback is there for Bohach. 10-9. East Butler on top, a minute 10 to go. First period along the baseline. Hansen goes too long with the shot, and the defensive rebound for Haney. So East Butler with lead in the basketball. Under a minute to go, first quarter. And a drive, that's going to be a blocking foul. That was a tough one there for Rigatuso who hit the, uh, hit the shot to send the game into overtime yesterday against BDS. And uh, one and one opportunity for the rest of the half here. Seven team fouls whistled against Cross County. And uh, the one and one here for Rigatuso. The foul was whistled against Stratman. That is her second. So Rigatuso with a one and one. <laughs> hey.
And now 12-9, Tigers out front. Press break is a good one. Noble has it right side, attacks the rim. Off the back, though, no good. And the defensive rebound for Lene Ertz. So here come the Tigers with 30 seconds left in the first period. Rigatuso on the drive off the glass, no. Scramble for it. And we've got bodies on the floor. Now we've got a three from the wing that's way off, no good. But another offensive rebound by Ertz. And a foul as Ertz is knocked out of bounds. They're going to get Cortland Chafer for that one. And it will be, again, a one-and-one -one opportunity. This one for Lene Ertz. That is eight team fouls against the Cougars here in the first quarter. Only three whistled against East Butler. And a little shooter's bounce. There on the west hoop. I'll tell you what, those, those four kids right behind that hoop have the best seat in the house. 15 seconds to go, first quarter. Cross County with an opportunity here, trailing by four. Swinging around Anderson. Noble up top. Mentic way off. Defensive rebound, East Butler. End of the first quarter. 13-9, Tigers on top. We, you are watching the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament presented by Cornerstone Bank. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Getting ready for the start of the second quarter, 13 to nine. East Butler on top, Cross County with the ball first here in this period. Tigers were out to a five nothing lead in the first couple minutes of this game before Cross County took a lead of seven to six at one point. And it's been East Butler again towards the late stages of that first period. That one maybe was partially blocked off the shot taken by Schaefer, and here come the Tigers. That is Rigatuso crashing hard and an offensive foul on Ali Rigatuso. <laughs> so player control foul, just the fourth team foul. And the first against Rigatuso. 13-9, our score. East Butler on top, Krause County with a basketball. Girls third place game in the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament. Thanks for joining us today. Our coverage presented by Cornerstone Bank. Nice baseline drive, the little five-footer will not fall, but an offensive rebound, another chance at it. Good hustle play there by Cortland Schaefer. Onto the block, Stratman. Double now, triple, quadruple teamed, and it's taken away the steal. Up ahead, this is good ball movement, but knocked out of bounds. Well done defensively down there by Josie Noble to knock it free at the last minute from Amanda Ertz, who was looking for a moment like she was going to have an uh, open layup. But Ertz knocked it free, and then Anderson takes away the inbounds and travels with it as she hits the floor. So no loss there for East Butler. They will throw it again, in again. Inbounds, that was Sullivan on the running shot there, no good. And the defensive rebound for Anderson. So here comes Cross County, still down by four. On the wing, the three goes up. It is no good, put up that time by Schaefer.
to the high post for Hellman. Baseline, good ball movement here. Rigatuso, the 15-footer, misses everything, though. And a defensive rebound. Good job staying on a tiptoe there by Schaefer to save the possession for Cross County. Two minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Nobody scored just yet. Still 13-9. Tigers on top. Cougars with the basketball. Stratman got good position. Got the basket. Got the foul. Chance at a three-point play for Erica Stratman. The foul on Addie Sullivan, her first, team's fifth for East Butler. And the free throw by Stratman is good. So Erica now has five points in the game. And our score, 13-12, East Butler on top. Zone look for Cross County, where they've been this entire game. Rigatuso on the wing, up top for Ertz. That was Amanda. Now Rigatuso again on the wing, tries to dribble through the double team. Sullivan goes and bails her out. Ertz up top. Long ponytail on the black headband. Sullivan has it swatted by Stratman, and it's controlled by Cross County Schaefer. So a good defensive stand by the Cougars there. High post for Schaefer. Onto the wing. The three goes up by Anderson. No good. Rebound is tipped around like a hot potato, though, and an offensive board for Noble. Trying to get it back onto the block for Stratman. Good defense down there by Hellman to knock it into the corner. Cross County controls. 447 and counting. Second quarter, Stratman. Back into the corner it goes for Giannu. Stratman triple teamed as soon as she caught it there. But again, good recognition by East Butler. They collapse down, but they're recovering well. Stratman that time got it and was fouled by Ertz. And Amanda Ertz just picked up foul number three here in this first half. And now we've got uh, Lene Ertz in for Amanda. And uh, Lexi Haney also coming back in for East Butler. So some foul trouble there for the top scorer on the season, Amanda Ertz. And a little step back, Stratman banks it home. Ah, the sleeping giant. Everybody fell asleep, but the giant awakens. Stratman's got five in the quarter, seven for the game. And Cross County is up by one. In the corner, there's a three from Haney. An offensive rebound by Bohotch, and she's fouled, and she'll get a bonus free throws. So a one and one here after the foul on uh, Noble, or actually, they call, yeah, they do call it on Noble. That is Josie's first. Bohotch shooting the one and one. No, though. And Stratman the rebound. Halfway home in the second quarter. Girls third place game of the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament. Our coverage presented by Cornerstone Bank. High post, tip free, stolen away. That was Haney that came up with it. Very unofficially, they've got six cross county turnovers from the offensive end. Very unofficially. Getting in the groove for the day. That pass stolen away. Unofficially, four turnovers for East Butler. Very, very unofficially. Cross County with a one-point lead in the basketball. Three and a half minutes to go, second quarter. That defense has been pretty good for East Butler, and it forces a bad pass that time as Schaefer was trying to go high-low down to Stratman and could not connect. Giano back into the game for Cross County. Roxanne Bergman, Bergman excuse me, in as well for East Butler. Roxanne's got it on the right wing, now onto the farther end of the corner. High post, this nice ball movement by the Tigers. Making that zone defense move onto the block. Stratman applies the defense. A backside rebound, though, 
And the putback is good by Lene Ertz. Two forty-five to go, first half. And East Butler is back in front. We, back and forth we go, 15-14 right now. Haney took a stab at that one, couldn't come up with it. Now Cross County trying to get something quick. Great defense down there in the post and help, backside help. There's Haney stealing it away. Boy, the East Butler defense has been pretty solid this game so far. They lead by one. They've got the basketball. Two minutes left in the first half to the high post. Onto the wing. That's a long two. That misfires that time, and Avery Hansen clears the rebound for Cross County. Cougars haven't scored in a couple of minutes because the defense, particularly in the post on Stratman, has been really good for the Tigers. Hansen on the baseline. Back onto the wing. That's just out of bounds. Again, the pressure defense. Lexi Haney, she's been kind of the active one, I think. And she forces a uh, pass to go out of bounds. And another turnover, unofficially by my count, nine for the Cougars. Minute and a half to go, first half. In the corner, a three by Haney, no good. Defensive rebound for Schaefer. And then fouled coming across there. That was Bergman that stuck a hand out there, and it will be now, I believe, I believe this is a double bonus. Nope, one and one still. Will be uh, Schaefer. Squared up at 15. And the back end of the one and one. Fight on the rebound is going to be a jump ball. The possession with bodies on the floor goes to East Butler. So all tied up at 15 apiece. East Butler only has the two points by Lene Ertz on a putback here about a minute ago. That is their only points of the second quarter. Cross County has been able, unable to really get some offensive rhythm because that East Butler defense has been pretty good. On the other end of the floor, there's Ertz from the elbow. No. The defensive rebound for Avery Hansen. So the Cougars under a minute to go. First half. A chance to get a lead heading into the locker room. Cross-court pass, stolen away. Rigatuso takes it coast to coast. <laughs> Ali Rigatuso with a basket, forcing the 10th cross-county turnover. East Butler with just their second field goal of the second quarter has a two-point lead. Timeout, cross-county. They want to take a 30-second timeout to think things over. We will take a 30-second timeout and be right back. I never really imagined that I would be a diesel technician. I started out in a whole different other field and then kind of worked my way and stumbled my way into it. And I enjoy every day of it. The people that I work with are great. Even if you're having a bad day, you know, they find some way to try to make you laugh or smile to try to brighten your day up. It be a life-changing opportunity. So there's a lot of good uh, things that this company has to offer. So 17-15, East Butler on top, despite having just four total points on two field goals in this quarter. Well, there's only been two field goals for Cross County in the quarter. So 17-15, the Cougars trying to get one final basket here in the first half. On the wing, Giano, now two seconds, one, a little runner from three, well off the glass, no good. And that is how we end the first half. East Butler 17, Cross County 15. 
Well, we had a lot of stuff going on, but not much scoring there in that first half. But 17-15, your halftime score. Check out the scoring and a little tournament recap when we come back to the York City Auditorium for the girls' third place game of the Crossroads Conference basketball tournament. Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting. And there is one parenting style that works best. Learn more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together.
Well, we're just about ready for the start of the second half. East Butler leading Cross County 17-15 to in this third-place girls' championship game of the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament. Scoring for the East Butler Tigers in that first half, very balanced. Nobody more with more than four. That was Olivia Bohach, who had four in the first quarter. Uh, three apiece for Ali Rigatuso and Lene Ertz. Uh, two apiece for Roxanne Bergman and Amanda Ertz, and one for Addie Sullivan. Uh, keep an eye on Amanda Ertz. Three fouls in the first half, the leading scorer on the season for the Tigers. For Cross County, they got seven points from Erica Stratman, including five in the second quarter, five from Cortland Schaefer, and three from Savannah Anderson. That's it. Only three, three girls have scored so far in the ballgame for the... Uh, for the Cross County Cougars, but trying to get something going here with a runner by Stratman that is no good. And here come the Tigers. Onto the wing, that's Ertz, and she calmly knocks down a three to open the scoring here for the Tigers. The lead is five right out of the gate here in the first 30 seconds of the third quarter. Don't forget the boys' third place game coming up after this one, then the girls' championship and Boys Championship will have all four games for you here on strivesports.com or right where you're watching right now. Cross court stolen away. Lexi Haney has been in passing lanes the whole game, and she gets a layup for her efforts that time. First time for Lexi that it's, she's been able to convert it into a layup herself and opens up a seven-point lead, biggest lead of the game for East Butler. Baseline stop. That one just taken away. The shot kind of went up there and then got, you know, now we've got a jump ball that's going to come back down here to East Butler. So 22-15, five quick points for the Tigers who were 7 of 11 from the free throw line in the first half, and they might be getting a couple more. Nope, traveling, actually. I beg your pardon is the call. Very, very unofficially. Five turnovers now in the game for the Tigers. 11 for Cross County. Those possessions become very valuable in close games, obviously. They're always valuable. Getting things set up. Amanda Giano. Stratman on the block. Maybe had that one redirected from behind on the run out. Here comes Bohach. Olivia stops in the corner, hands it back for Ertz. On the wing, that was Haney. The line drive was no good. Now we've got a scramble for the rebound. Stratman and Hellman tied up. The possession arrow will go back to Cross County. Press break, kind of easy that time. Noble attacking the rim, draws the foul. No, offensive foul. Noble called for the charge. No basket there for Noble. Thought that was a good drive, and the official says, nope, player control foul. We go the other direction. <coughs> so now Cross County on the break, and that's going to be a foul on Giano. Excuse me, that was East Butler on the break. And Giano with the foul. Substitution in for the Cougars comes Avery Hansen, the junior. On the wing, Ertz fires up the three. It misses everything, though. Out of bounds it goes. Oh, now an official on the near side says tip, and it's going to stay East Butler. Didn't see that one coming, but the official called it right away, who was right behind the play, right in line with the way you're looking at it. By the way, if, if I say something that sounds a little different than the way you look at it, it's because I'm sitting in a corner to the left of where you're watching right now. You're watching from midcourt. 
trust me, you've got the best seat in the house watching here on Strive Sports. Addie Sullivan on the wing, hands it up top for Bohach. Back to Ertz. Ertz, tough shot, fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming for Amanda Ertz. Amanda has been a little more aggressive offensively here in this third quarter. She must have been upset after sitting most of that second quarter after she picked up her third foul. Avery Hansen for Cross County just picked up her second and the third team foul. East Butler has scored all of the points so far in this third quarter, not quite three minutes into the period. Similar start, actually, to the beginning of this game. In fact, the beginning of the game was a 6-0 start. This is a 5-0, or a five, the beginning of the game was a 5-0 start. This is a 6-0 start in about the same time span for East Butler. This is their largest lead of the game at 23-15. Onto the block, Stratman got that one blocked, but a foul is called. Erica Stratman will shoot a couple of free throws. Lene Arts with the foul, her first, team's first of the half. Stratman, who, was, who made her only free throw of the first half, knocks down the first one here. She's now got eight points. That leads all scorers. On the season, the six-foot sophomore averages 13.3 per contest. So 23-17, 4.50 to go, third quarter. Cross County fell out of the press that time. So East Butler just quickly across the line. High post, that's good ball movement. Long two, bounces around, will not fall, though. And out of bounds off Cross County. They say Stratman the last to touch it. The shot along the baseline by Ertz, no good. Here come the Cougars the other way. Schaefer trying to take it all the way in, draws the blocking foul this time and will shoot a pair of free throws. And taking the worst for the wear on that one. See if we can spot a number down there. Lexi Haney was the one. Uh, she is going to be called for the foul, and she is the one that... Uh, Came down hard after the contact. So a uh, few tears in the eyes, but looks okay for Lexi Haney coming off the floor. In the, uh, in the meantime, Cortland Schaefer will shoot a couple of free throws. Lexi's smiling as she's getting... Walked back towards the bench. Jason Brueggemann, certified trainer on staff here today. Jason can fix your seven iron swing and he'll take care of a sprained ankle and make sure you, you can see straight too. He's a good guy like that. 23-17, still the score after the first free throw comes up short by Cortland. But she does get the second. So all free throws for Cross County now in this quarter. They're three for four at the line, but still having themselves within shouting distance. Down just five, 4.14 to go, third quarter from the high post. A little too strong, and a jump ball in the rebound. It's going to stay down here with East Butler. That was Rigatuso and Anderson who got tied up with it. Tigers to toss it in. Sullivan on the backside, double team, kicks it out. Really impressed with both teams and the closing out they do on defense. Not necessarily like they're not necessarily always in the best position trying to stop a dribble drive, but I tell you what, both teams really close out quick wherever they are. That foul goes against Savannah Anderson, which is her second, and Ertz makes the first of two free throws. 
Manu's got five in the po in the quarter, seven for the game. Twenty-four eighteen, our score. Long three by Anderson, no good, but an offensive rebound, another crack at it for the Cougars. Onto the block, Stratman over the double team, waving off the shot though. A foul first on the floor. Bohach in. Stratman, quick shot on the inbounds, fouled on the way up. And a couple of free throws for Erica Stratman coming. Addie Sullivan, the guilty party for East Butler. Addie's second personal foul, fourth team foul this half against the Tigers. Within five now are the Cougars in a second attempt. And a defensive rebound there coming out of there with it. Now we've got people losing shoes at one end. A three goes up and good for Rigatuso at the other end. East Butler leads it 27 to 19, and we will get a stoppage of play so that Cortland Schaefer can put her shoe back on. Blew a tire down there actually on that rebound. I think that's why she uh, had, had to give up the... The ball, I think her foot had gotten stepped on and uh, in the process of falling down, didn't want to get the travel, so just kind of let the ball go, and that's how East Butler ended up with it. But uh, the tire's back on. All is well again. Cross County breaks the press. They're down, though, by eight, and now they're down six. A good drive there. Savannah Anderson said, well, I guess if nobody's going to stop me, I'll just keep going. 27-21, three minutes to go, third quarter. CRC girls, third place game. Thanks for joining us on Championship Friday from the York City Auditorium. That's a three by Sullivan and a foul coming three free show, free shots for Addie Sullivan. Josie Noble just picked up her third personal, fifth team foul, three free throws for Addie Sullivan, who is one for two at the free throw line today. Sullivan goes one for three on that exchange. So 28-21. Tigers on top. They have not trailed at the since about two minutes left in the second quarter. They led 17-15 at halftime. Avery Hansen has it on the wing. Zone look for East Butler. Been zone each way for both teams throughout the game. Stratman, though, gets free down low and spins that one in. Just the second field goal of the third quarter for Cross County, but it makes it a five-point game again. Sullivan, quick three at the other end. No. Rebound for Giano. So a chance to make it a one-possession game here for Cross County. A lot of time left. 2.20 to go, third quarter. On the wing. Schaefer, a 5'11 sophomore, tracks it down near the sideline, hands it off for Giano. Into the corner, Sullivan tips that away. So they tried to get it to Anderson. Just under two minutes to go in the third. Boys third place game coming up, Cross County and East Butler. Oh, look at that. We're already here for this one. Excuse me, extra Milligan.
Baseline, that's a three put up by Anderson. No, offensive put back, no good, but a couple of free throws for Cortland Schaefer coming up as the offensive glass has been the spot for Cortland Schaefer. She's already got four points on putbacks, two free throws and a basket. Can't make the first of two here, though. And the second is good. So four-point game. Minute 18 to go in the third. Cross court. Tipped. Now we're loose. Now we're near half court. Sullivan has it nip tip free. It will stay with East Butler. Tell you what, the active hands of Cortland Schaefer have been a real problem, and those long arms at 5'11 on the wing. Savannah Anderson and 5'10 junior. So those are your, really your two wings. And if you get happen to get by those two, and then you still got Stratman at six foot down there in the post. Far wing, that's Bergman with it. Back to Roxanne in the corner. Tried to go high post, but Gianno sniffs it out of there. So 48 seconds to go, third quarter on the wing. Down low for Stratman, can't handle it. Jump ball, possession will stay. Actually, we'll go to Cross County. Excuse me. East Butler bringing in uh, Kalen Hummel, 5'2 junior right now. Thirty-eight seconds to go. Third quarter. That's a shot in the lane. That is no good. That time by Lene Ertz. Thirty seconds left. Third quarter. Cross County. Another opportunity to make it a one-possession game. A little cross or cross check. And how about that? Stratman with a putback. Seven in the quarter. Fourteen for the game for Erica Stratman. Ten seconds left here in the third. On the wing to the high post. It's free. Gianno's got it. Now Stratman, three seconds, two. Gianno, will she get it up? Just off. That would have counted, but a lot of momentum for the Cross County Cougars at the end of three. It is East Butler by two. When we come back for the fourth quarter after this of the third place game in the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament presented by Cornerstone Bank. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. So we start the fourth quarter, East Butler with a two-point lead, 28-26. Had been an eight-point lead at one point for East Butler in that quarter, but here's a three that would have been for the lead for just about the third time the entire game. And a foul then on the putback, and Josie Noble will go to the free throw line. Noble makes good on the first. Yeah. 
Cross County has tied things up. Now they have forced a turnover. The wave of momentum right now belongs to the Cougars in blue. Cross County led briefly in the first half, in the first quarter actually. Nice drive to the hoop, but can't finish by Schaefer in the defensive rebound for Lexi Haney. Into the corner, Haney off her hands and out of bounds. Another turnover for the Tigers. The press hasn't done a lot for East Butler defensively. Cross County broke it easy again and now into their offense. Tiger faithful trying to make some noise and now the bench gets into it. Tied up at 28 to the low block. Tough shot off the side of the hoop, out of bounds. There was no touch there. And back to East Butler, Savannah Anderson tried to draw some contact, didn't get the foul called though. Minute and a half gone in the fourth quarter, all squared up at 28. Sullivan to the baseline for Ertz, reach in foul first, no shots. Josie Noble just picked up her fourth personal foul. That's the fifth team foul. Noble comes out, and Avery Hansen comes in. Sullivan's pass up top is knocked free. Jump ball stays here. East Butler's got it one more time. Each team whistled for six fouls in this second half, so both teams are effectively in the bonus for the rest of the game. Ertz back to into the corner for Haney. Onto the block, tough shot over Stratman, put up there by Hellman. And the defensive rebound is cleared by Anderson. A lot of pressure and a foul there in the backcourt. To the free throw line we go. That was Olivia Bohach picking up the foul. And Olivia comes up a little gimpy from that one. Ali Rigatuso comes in for her. One and one here for Cortland Schaefer. Cortland only has one field goal in the game, but is five of eight at the free throw line. Cross County has their first lead of the second half. In fact, Cross County was five of eight in the, from the free throw line in that third quarter. And now they are perfect four for four so far in the, in the fourth quarter. 30 to 28, Cross County has the lead here in the second half. And a three is answered right back by Addie Sullivan. She says, not so fast. You can have it, but not for very long. The press is on. Haney with a steal. Lexi on the left side. Maybe redirected from behind. There's Sullivan. Yes, and a foul. Savannah Anderson had the foul for Cross County, and how about that? Addie Sullivan, six points in about 10 seconds, and now another steal for Haney. Underneath, Ertz got it, and another foul. <laughs> Timeout here for Cross County. And that will be, that free throw will come from Ertz here after this timeout. But the turnovers have suddenly mounted a couple of them in a row here. And East Butler has a chance to go from down two to perhaps up seven in a span of about 35 seconds or so. 
5.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. A short break. Free throw good. The lead seven for East Butler. Five and a half minutes to go. And boy, this has turned around in a hurry since the uh, two free throws by Cortland Schaefer. A 9-0 run on a three-pointer by Addie Sullivan. Three-point play by Addie Sullivan and three-point play by Amanda Ertz. All in succession. And now a chance to kind of stop that bleeding. Cortland Schaefer will go back to the free throw line. And a foul on Stratman on the rebound. So, or excuse me, not on Stratman. I beg your pardon. Avery Hansen, the guilty party. Arts for the one and one. Amanda Arts had two points in the first quarter. She is up to 10 here in the second half. Thirty-nine, thirty. This is an 11-0 run right now for Cross for uh, East Butler in the last. Wow, about only, still only about a minute and a half or so. Stratman one-on-one -on, -one on the block. Missed the shot, got it back, got fouled. Lene Ertz with the foul, her second. Two shots here for Cross County's Erica Stratman. 14 points, seven of which came in the third quarter. So she's up to 16. The lead is down to seven for East Butler. That stops an 11-0 run. In the lane, a lot of bodies, a lot of contact, no whistles. On we play. Sort it out, ladies. That's, the, uh, that's been the motto so far. Hanson along the baseline. Stratman with a foul from behind. Now Erica's got three. And a double bonus at the other end. For East Butler into the line will go Lene Ertz. Four for four from the free throw line are the Tigers so far here in this fourth quarter. And now they've made all five. Giano into the game for Cross County. The second one no good. Rebound for Schaefer. So the Cougars need to get something going. It'll stay with Cross County here. Trailing by eight. Four and a half minutes to go. A lot of time, but you don't necessarily need to be perfect offensively, but you got to be highly efficient at this point in the game. Giano for a three up top. Missed it. 
There for a rebound, though. One time, no good. Stratman will try it. That no good. Another crack at it and free throws. No. Well, not on the shot. We're going to get a double bonus anyway, though, as Josie Noble got in there for a second time. The offensive glass has been good tonight, this afternoon, whatever time it is, for the Cross County Cougars. Lene Ertz just picked up her third. Like we said, the team's 10th, so both teams in a double bonus the rest of the way. Noble makes good on the first. Seven-point lead for East Butler, a second free throw coming for Josie Noble. She got them both, all four of her points at the free throw line here in the fourth quarter for Josie. The lead is six for East Butler, the Tigers with the basketball. Amanda Arts, left wing for Hellman, back to Arts. Cross County staying in that 2-3 zone for the time being. Knocked out of bounds. Schaefer got a hand on that one. Stays with East Butler. Boys third place game coming up. Exeter Milligan and Cross County. As soon as this one's done, we'll have that for you. We'll have all four games here at the York City Auditorium. Right here on strivesports.com. Make sure everyone knows the link. Arts fouled on the shot. She'll shoot a pair. Erica Stratman just picked up her fourth personal foul with 3.43 left and two shots for Arts. That is the just the second missed free throw of the fourth quarter for East Butler. A second on the way. And now that's three misses in a row, actually. Stratman the rebound. So Cross County still in this thing, down six. Still over three and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Try to get it to Stratman on the block, and Erica able to finish a little pirouette move. And it's a four-point game. Long two. That would have been a big one there from Hellman. And instead, Noble clears the rebound, brings it ahead herself. Noble all the way, got it to go. Josie Noble, all six of her points here in the fourth quarter. Timeout, Cross County. The Cougars are within two. 30-second timeout. We'll come back to the auditorium in York after this. Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average. Fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting, and there is one parenting style that works best. Learn more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org. 4038, Cross County had, had a two-point lead early in this quarter. After they scored it, it made it uh, 30 to 28. Then it was an 11-0 run by East Butler to take it right back. Made it 39-30, actually, at one point. And now Cross County has come back to make it a two-point game, and they have knocked it free again. A steal again by Noble. Boy, she has been an absolute spark plug here in the fourth quarter in the last couple of minutes. Noble goes baseline. Tough shot, no good. Stratman there for a board. Missed it once, got it back, and we're tied. Stratman's got 20 in the ball game. We're all square up at 40 apiece. 2.25 to go. On the wing, Lene Ertz picks up her dribble. Now Amanda's got it. Baseline, foul, and two free throws coming for Amanda Ertz. After making the first five free throws of the fourth quarter for East Butler, they have missed three in a row now. Addie Sullivan 
who was the catalyst, scored the first six of that five or the of that 11-0 run. The first six was hers. Is back into the game for East Butler, and the second free throw does rattle home. So East Butler by one. And the full court press is on. Cross County hasn't had a lot of trouble with it. They will attack here, and a blocking foul is going to be the call. Madison Hellman just picked up foul number four. Portland Schaefer has had a really nice ball game as well. Oop, that, that, was, that was not as good. But still, we are tied at 41. Schaefer's got 10 points in the ball game to go with Stratman's 20. Nice drive from the backside. Haney can't make the first shot. One rebound is no good. A second, this is Sullivan scrapping for it now. Possession arrow, Cross County. Minute 52 to go in this one. On the right side, Savannah Anderson stops. Cougars want a good possession here. Minute 40 to go. Stratman underneath. Her little reverse, no good. Can't secure the second time. Haney grabs the rebound. Well, that was a big defensive stand for East Butler that time. Now the legs maybe begin to go a little bit. Just played yesterday. East Butler played an overtime game against BDS. What a thriller that was. So you wonder about the legs at this stage of the game. Ertz throws one at the hoop and draws the foul on Schaefer. Two free throws for Amanda Ertz, the junior. Who has 13 points. And now she's got 14 points. A lot of free throws so far for the Tigers here in this fourth quarter. They've been aggressive offensively to just try to get themselves to the line. It has paid off. Haven't made... Fan, they made a decent percentage. But still a one-point lead here. Kind of one out of two the last couple times down for Ertz. So a minute three to go. Third place game of the CRC tournament. Noble just about drugged the plant foot. Now high post. Pass stolen away. Sullivan comes up with another steal. Baseline, Hanson. Hellman, excuse me, Madison Hellman with a huge basket to put East Butler up by three. Now 35 seconds to go. Anderson across the timeline. Timeout, Cross County. Cougars want to talk things over. I don't blame them. Coach Mitch Bozart wants to draw something up. He will take a full timeout. We will as well. The York Auditorium back when we come. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank. Growing together. So you see it, 30 seconds to go in a three-point game. East Butler with the lead, Cross County with a basketball. 
on the wing for the tie off the glass. No good. A long rebound. And Sullivan again comes up with a loose ball. Addie Sullivan, fourth quarter, has been the girl for East Butler. She had the six straight points to uh, the three-pointer first to answer after they found themselves down by two early in this quarter. She had the first six points of an 11-0 run for the Tigers, and then she just secures that rebound. She has been right place, right time in this second half. And we have just seen the last of Josie Noble, who fouls out of the ball game for Cross County with 12.9 left. Josie will finish with six points all here in this fourth quarter. Two shots, and that was a big one. The first for Lexi Haney. Now a four-point game with 12.9 left. Stratman the rebound here. Giano going to have to do something quick. Goes right to the hoop. Can't get the rebound. Stratman misses the shot. Sullivan again secures the rebound, and that is going to be your game. East Butler will take third place in the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament. Congratulations to the Tigers. 45-41, the final score. We'll tie things up in a moment after this. I never really imagined that I would be a diesel technician. I started out in a whole different other field and then kind of worked my way and stumbled my way into it. And I enjoy every day of it. The people that I work with are great. Even if you're having a bad day, you know, they find some way to try to make you laugh or smile to try to brighten your day up. It can be a life-changing opportunity, so there's a lot of good uh, things that this company has to offer. Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting. And there is one parenting style that works best. Learn more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org Again, your final, East Butler 45, Cross County 41 in the girls' third place game of the Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament. Cross County scoring individually, got five points from Savannah Anderson, six from Josie Noble all in the fourth quarter. Caitlin, or Cortland Schaefer had 10, and Erica Stratman tossed in a game-high 20. Cross County was 18 of 27 from the free throw line for the game. East Butler... They were 17 of 32 from the free throw line for the game. They got two points from Madison Hellman, including that basket right there at the end that sealed things up, made it a four-point game with 30 seconds left. That's a heck of a time to get your only basket, right? Two points from Lexi Haney, four from Lene Ertz, six from Ali Regatuso, four from Olivia Bohach, two from Roxanne Bergman, eight from Addie Sullivan, and she was just right place, right time in the entire fourth quarter when she was on the floor for East Butler. And Amanda Ertz leads the way with 14 points there in the ballgame. East Butler, third place in the girls' Crossroads Conference Basketball Tournament for 2019. The guys game between Exeter Milligan and Cross County is coming up next. Stay with us on strivesports.com. If you're watching for the next game, give us just a minute. Our stream will stop momentarily. It will restart before we get ready for the start of uh, the guys' game and for intros, we promise you, you won't miss a thing. 